Hello guys, this is Omnimon21 here for my first ever YouTube upload Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. I've been playing Pokemon for two years and I am from London, so I have a North London accent to be exact, which is slightly different to other ones like Manchester, etc. If you're not British, you would probably not be able to tell much of a difference anyway. So, I lead off with an Obama Snow, I switch to Altaria. Oh, this is a standard match. Switch to Altaria, take the eruption, because it's obvious, but seeing that damage, I max special defense, careful nature. So, I pre thought I could take two or three, but this is obviously a Specs Typhlosion, and so it does just under half, but with hail slightly over. And because of the hail, slight hail damage, the eruption's power is slightly weakened. And so I presumed I could take another hit and roost off the damage and then continue to do that until I'm at about three quarters health and I can either Toxic or Dragon Claw or one of those. Unfortunately, he gets a crit. Um, the hail pelts him. Well, it was pelting in the older generation, so that's what I remember it as. Let's switch into Aerodactyl, who, this one is a sweeper Aerodactyl, and shows that Aerodactyl's potential, not just as a lead, but as a sweeper. It's got similar stats to Jolteon, speed 130 base, um, attack 110 base, Jolteon's special attack is 110 base, it's pretty bulky, and in the Sandstorms team, it can be well, special defense is high and you can basically sweep with it very easily because no non scarf Pokemon can outspeed it, excluding a couple of like Electrode and Ninjask. So only Electrode can KO it and Jolteon, possibly because it's a speed time. He protects on it. Um, don't know, really know why. Hail. Hail. To call it stalling. Don't. Particularly no. Okay, so what my aim is is to do a Pokemon uh, alphabetical marathon. So this is why I use every Pokemon usable in the game. U U N U O U. Well, Uber will be slightly different because it's hard to use normal ones in them. But everything will be in alphabetical order. So this one I have been using: Bomber Snow, Absol, Agron, Alakazam, Aerodactyl and Altaria because they are the first six alphabetical Pokemon in Generation 4 and not using Generation 5 because um, they haven't the English names haven't been released yet. Back to the battle, um, Aerodactyl uses Fire Blast which is great against it one hit KO Sizzle after Stealth Rock, uh, normal defensive, not special defensive, Fortress of Stealth Rock and look how much damage it does to Steelix, it does over half to Skarmory too and so overall it's a great move on Aerodactyl, sweeping Aerodactyl with life Orb, and this is with no special attack investment it does 80% I would say possibly more so he finishes me off with Gyro Ball and with the hail it takes him to red so it is about 80%, 80 so my aim with the marathon is to use every Pokemon in the game that is usable on Smogon lists and not like a Caterpie or anything like that yeah, and I switched to a Bomber Snow, just finish it off with, with Energy Ball. Bomber Snow is a great lead. It breaks Sashes through its hail, um, Snow Warning. Brings up the hail, breaks all Sashes. It can one hit KO Swamper with Energy Ball. KOs Aerodactyl with Blizzard and Hail combined from the Focus Sash. Uh, one, uh, not one hit KOs, but KOs and Polion with a focus ash with focus blast possibly normally it does about I would say 75% damage but it still does a lot of damage to it and it works against everything apart from fire leads like Typhlosion which was unfortunate I faced one this battle but it keeps it sash and if you're battling and they have powered on you'd want it speed abominos abominus snow speed to be as low as possible because then when they switch into Hippowden at the beginning, the Sandstream activates before your Hail act 
activates. So I get him down to I think it's about one HP. I really can't tell. You can tell a little bit. It's a, it looks as if it's one HP, but the hail kills it off. But a bomber source attack isn't too high, so yeah, and that's why I set up the stealth rock so because I knew it would be helpful against Typhlosion. Back to Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl was great. It did lots of damage to the t uh, Tang Roof and Steelix, and set up the stealth rock. Uh, so he uses pursuit. He's banded because he takes some life orb damage. So with a stealth rock, life orb, and the hail, he's already taken a quarter, and I haven't really done anything. The pursuit kills me off, and then I switch to Agron scouting for Brick Break, and then therefore I switch to Alexan, which we'll see in a moment. Mm, he switches to Tank Growth, I switch to Alexan, thinking he could take the Brick Break. In hindsight, he probably couldn't take the Brick Break too well, so I should have just let Agron die, but or faint. To be politically Pokemon correct, and then, yeah, that's what I would have done. So with this marathon, because everything is alphabetical, I get a. It's basically like a rule. I get a random bunch every time, and attempt to make a team from it. Use it in the battle, record it, upload it, and then that team's done. And then the next six go. And then since there's about 300, it's about 50 battles altogether. So hopefully about 50 battles all time. I have a lot more subscribers than I have now, hopefully. And, but probably not because, yeah. And then I'll have used every Pokemon in the game, which most haven't done. Um, I use Psychic, thinking I could take a Surf and then KO with it. Second Psychic, since it's Alexander is Specs. Fortunately... I get a critical hit, it knocks out the Milotic in one hit, showing that would have done over half with one Psychic anyway, so in the end, as you'll see, it doesn't matter too much because my Alakazam gets one hit KO. Anyway, this was just an um, Ambipom, I don't know why, I know it doesn't have Fake Out because I've seen it not use Fake Out, but it still might. Maybe I should probably switch to Agron, he probably predicted my switch to Akron and used Brick Break instead if he carried it but didn't show us, so I'm not 100% sure why he switched to Apom or switched out from Akron in, uh, in that matter so he switches to Krogonk, I know I've won this game now he can't have Sucker Punch and Vacuum Wave so I switch into, I keep in my Alakazam use Psychic, get KO'd by Sucker Punch and knowing that he's not going to carry Sucker Punch and Vacuum Wave since he's also got leftovers I can just switch into Absol and KO it with a Psycho Cut which is exactly what I do in hindsight I think that I should probably switch into Aggron then switch back into Alakazam use Trick just to be 100% sure that he can't use Sucker Punch and Vacuum Wave just for the extra confirmation but it doesn't matter too much and what's great about this marathon is that I'm using such a diverse range of different pokes that it's great, to be honest. Because I'm using all of them different different uh, move pools to what they would normally be. Well, some are similar because some are just good either way. And yeah, so I hope you liked uh, this. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you in the future.